Hi, Robin Beaumont here. We're going to be looking at the Wilcoxon match pair statistic here um, using SPSSS, R Commander and R. For an explanation of why we're doing this and the output, you need to look at my PDF document at www.robin-beaumont.co.uk slash virtual classroom. Here we are in SPSSS. Right, simply go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, all right, Non-Parametric Tests, Legacy Dialogues, two related samples. Then we put Pre and Post, select them together by pressing the Shift key, into our pairs, which we've already done, so we can delete that. Will Coxon, we've chosen there. Notice it's got an option, exact statistics here, we'll click on that. This is because normally, if the samples were larger than, say, 30 to 50, um, it's a normal approximation. However, if we have very small samples, it's actually quite good to use one of these other options. So we can choose exact and it will work on exact probability value. Details in my PDF file. Click OK. We've chosen Wilcoxon. We get the results. There we are. That's the traditional p-value. That's the exact p-value. And notice how it's larger. All right. That's because it's an exact value, whereas that would be true value if we had a sample size of 50 or more, but we don't, we've only got 7, 8 rather. Now let's carry out the same thing in our commander. Type in library and then our commander command line. Brings up the our command interface to our, click on data, import data, from SPSS file, because we're going to use the same data file as before, we're going to call it my data frame and click OK and select the file you want. Once we've found it, click on Edit Data to actually check that we've got the data into our we have there. Now to do statistics. Statistics non-parametric tests, pair samples, Wilcoxon tests. There's a dialog box, select the pre and post variables. We want two-sided p-value as it's set, and we change to exact p-value. Click OK, and there are our results. Let's compare that with SPSSS. Notice that the p-value 0.49 is midway between the asymptotic, the original kind of traditional p-value, and the exact p-value in SPSS. This is because they use a slightly different method of working out the exact value. You can also find a confidence interval. Um, notice that the command that the R command produced is just basically R code. So we can change that. Um, first of all, on one line, and then we can add the two statements that tell it to add a confidence interval to the output. So the first statement tells us that we do want a confidence interval. So that is conf dot int equals true. Notice the true is in all uppercase. And then which size of confidence interval, interval do we need? So we say conf dot Level equals, we'll have the usual level, 0.95. We'll highlight this statement, which is, remember, pure R code, which we could have put straight into R, and click the Submit button in R Commander, which basically takes it back to the R package. And there's our results, this time with a confidence interval.
So we've looked at the Wilcoxon matched pairs test, um, which basically looks at the rankings of the differences between the pre and post tests, and then creates two values, the T plus and the T minus, one for the positive rankings, one for the negative rankings. We'd expect, if there was no difference, obviously, them both to be equal in number. Right, so we carried out the analysis in SPSS, R Commander and R. We did it in R and R Commander basically by using the command Wilcox.test and then we put in there two vectors, pre and post, um, and then we specified that it was a pair test and also optionally we asked for the confidence interval. So we set it to true and also the confidence level which we set to 0.095. Um, an explanation of actually how the Wilcoxon test works, along with important discussions about the effect size measure for this test and also power and sample size, see my PDF document um, which I was in Robin Beaumont and you can find it at my website www.robin-beaumont.co.uk slash virtual classroom slash stats slash course one. Bye.